Welcome to App Design Tips. This video is part of a free complete icon design tutorial. If you want to follow along, you can download the exercise files using the link in the description below. Okay, and the last icon is the calendar icon. So I'm going to zoom over here into my calendar artboard and I'm just going to start off with a square. And the square is just going to be 80 by 80 pixels with three squares all around on each edge. And I'm going to make this black and give it an eight pixel border radius. Now, because I've already set the style, I'm just going to hold down Option or Alt on Windows and I'm going to create my little calendar rings here. And I want this to be two pixels. Let's bring this right in the center here. I want the width to be 10 pixels actually. And let's just match that right in the center. And then it can be 16 pixels tall. If I hold down Option, I can move this over here and give it the same treatment. Lastly, I'm going to copy this square again and paste. And now I'm going to resize this down to be 8 pixels from here. So I'm just going to match this square here. That is going to be 64 by 64. And I'm going to make this white. Now I want the radius here to be 2 pixels. And I'm going to move this down so that there are three boxes here. So that's going to look really good and like a calendar. So that's the final icon in this series. And now I want to do some resizing so that we can match the balance of these icons. So the first thing I'm going to do is just select all of these artboards. I'm going to hide this grid so we can just see on a nice white background. And I want to make you aware of something. For this bell icon, for example, if I hold down shift and I resize this, you see how the corner radius stays at the radius, this 32 pixels that we've set. So it doesn't look very good when we resize that. So what we'll have to do is select all of our objects. If we want to scale these around and hit Command-8 or Control-8, that's going to convert that to a path. This one needs the same treatment, Command-8 or Control-8, Command-8 or Control-8, and same thing with these. Command-8 or Control-8. And what that does, if I zoom in here, we did set an 8 pixel corner radius, but if I click on here now, these are actually anchor points and nodes, so they're going to scale the way that we want them. So now let's zoom out, and let's just scale this a bit. So right now the cloud is the most horizontal, so we can scale that to probably be the widest, something about right there. And this chat bubble could be almost as wide, but you can see it's not quite as horizontal as far as the ratio, it's not as wide. So something like that I think looks good. And then this heart might need to be a tiny bit smaller. So we're going to resize it somewhere right there. Same thing with this notification icon, we're going to resize this down a little bit. <coughs> and as we do this, we can group all these objects, Command G or Control G. And same with this calendar icon, Command G or Control G. And it's starting to look really good. Let's just zoom out and see how it looks in a small scale. Sometimes you can see a little bit better how things need to be resized when you view it a little bit smaller. So we might make this a tiny bit wider. And I'm holding down Shift and Option just so that I can constrain the ratios and grow from the center. And that looks pretty decent. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to convert these filled icons into outlined icons. And this is a really handy effect if you want to show an inactive versus active state. Let's say that the filled icons are active and the outline icons are inactive. So I'll show you how to do this next. If you're enjoying this free icon design tutorial, I have a complete course on learning Adobe XD for UI UX design. You can find a link in the description below with a steep discount included for my YouTube fans. This course will cover everything from learning the Adobe XD interface to designing and prototyping an entire app from start to finish.